Hello, mamacitas. Whatever. Hey, fuck boys and fuck girls. We got another episode of Simon Christopher's DIY Guide to Health, Wellness, and Being Great, where I'm gonna teach you more cost-effective ways to have a great life, like me, with my green walls, and my things. My mom hates that painting. Uh, she also hates my green walls, so what the fuck can you do? Today on the show, I'm going to teach you a cheap and effective way to rid your stupid gangly body of some of your less fortunate looking tattoos. Now, if you can't tell, this is sandpaper. You guys thought I didn't give a fuck before. If you're anything like my grandparents, you've noticed I have a lot of tattoos. Most of you don't hate them as much as they do, I'm sure. So I'm gonna make them happy by getting rid of one of them. Now the one I'm getting rid of is this fucking looking stupid looking thing. Uh, right there. I don't have a good reason for it. I, I was drunk and someone said, I'd like to tattoo someone for my first time and I put my hand up before my brain realized what it was doing and now I have that. So like I said, I'm gonna show you my cheap and effective way of getting rid of tattoos without that bullshit lasers or creams I think exist somewhere. So the first thing you wanna do when you're getting tattoo removal -y is you wanna get some coarse sandpaper or the opposite of coarse. Whatever coarse means, if it means finely ground rocks, you want the opposite. You want big rocks glued shittily to pieces of paper, and then you want to shittily tape them to your shittily made fan, and then you're going to turn it on high, and you're going to stick it on your tattoo, and hopefully it just comes right off. So, we constructed our tattoo remover. Uh, we, we know where we're going to remove the tattoo, that's obvious, because every time summer comes and you wear shorts you forget you had the fucking thing and you have to look at it and explain to a whole new crop of people what the fuck it was and then once you tell them a story of you being a drunk idiot they think you're a retard and they want to just like figure out which fucking way it's gonna go it's i'm it's ow ow uh where if that's gonna be like that i want like that i want to be like zinc zinc yeah that'll go good so i'm gonna do that it's very important that you tape it on there good because it's, when it's grinding your tattoo off, you don't want it uh, to come off. Ow, just punch myself in the goddamn head. So you're gonna wanna start on uh, setting one. Setting one is the slower of the speeds. Mine has three. So I'm starting at one. I'll let you know when I switch it. Ow. Oh, setting one's kinda weak. It is kind of taking off the skin a little bit. Ow. That really hurts. Ow. Setting one didn't do too much. A little of that. Ow. Ow. Ow! Ah, you fucker. You gotta let the motor speed up a little bit. Let's try setting three. We're, go we're going on setting three. Ow. Oh, oh God. It's very important that you tape it on there good. Oh, because it's, when it's grinding your tattoo off, oh, you don't want it uh, to come off. Let's gonna do a quick little repair. For what it's worth, my leg is fucking on fire. Ow. Feels great, man. Feels like there's fucking nothing going on at all. Ah. Oh, God. Damn it. Mmm. Well, I'm sweaty all over. Ow. The 
a nice little sweet spot there. I mean, it is slowing it down, but it's also continuous and very painful. I will admit, it's very, very painful to have um, to have sandpaper doing that. It does not feel. I am fucking sweating. <sighs> um, well, this shirt is fucking drenched. So as far as tattoo removal goes, I don't think one session is the way it goes because you get you have to change the uh, sandpaper from time to time because it, it just it just stops working after a while and uh, well my leg is just on fucking fire so this is what one treatment of Simon Christopher holy fuck there's chunks of skin on there Simon Christopher's DIY guide to wellness and whatever I call it um, here's here's what my one treatment looks like so far so that's what your tattoo will look like after a solid treatment of Simon's DIY guide to hellness and tattoo removal uh, it looks pretty good I'm not upset with it so far uh, it's got a lot of work to go but I, I really hope that one day I will get there and that day is right now. Ow. Ow. That's the sweet spot. You just gotta hold it on there. I can't explain how bad that feels. I mean, I like to think I can handle pain. That's probably why I keep talking. But when you're seeing chunks of your skin fly into your, your leg hair, um, so, uh, here's a quick thing that just happened. If you're wondering what that clicking sound was, uh, I'll tell you. I'll tell you exactly what. Shut up. What that clicking sound there was? I was hitting. I was hitting the chair by accident on that last session, um, and that's what it did to my chair. That is not a scratch. That is a chunk missing. I doubt you'll be able to see it, but it's beveled, it's beveled there, I can feel it for sure. So now that there's parts of my chair in my tattoo removal equipment, I do feel that for the sake of not doing this anymore, I'm gonna stop because <laughs> there's, there's literally chunks of my, my skin flying in, in, in the hair on my legs which I was not expecting. So that wraps up session one of what I can only assume is one session of Simon's DIY Guide to uh, Tattoo Removal. Now keep in mind, it took about 10 seconds for my chair to be missing a noticeable chunk. That's, that's what my leg looks like. Uh, it, it feels the way it looks. Now that my fan is now HIV positive, I feel like I should clean up a little bit. Uh, clean up the chunks of skin from my my leg. You probably can't see it. I mean, it's not the biggest piece, but I promise you, I am playing with a chunk of my own skin. <laughs> um, thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Simon Christopher's DIY Guide to Health and Wellness. I don't know what I just said. My leg is on fucking fire. There's blood on my ankle. That's what your tattoos should look like. If you don't like them, I don't like mine, so I did that to it. This is the most fucked up thing I think I've ever done. Look at this fucking thing. Just a quick little update, I rubbed my hand up my leg and uh, and there's there's whatever the fuck. I don't, that, that's not part of my finger. I don't know what that is, I don't feel good about it. Dope. So I, I try to clean it and it just keeps bleeding. Which is a good thing, it means you got down into the, the pores and, and really just chewed your fucking leg up. That's a good sign. Uh, 
This episode took a fucking weird turn. So don't touch it after. After you clean it, don't poke it with your hand. It doesn't, it, don't. That's uh, another, that's your aftercare tip. Don't touch it after, pain. So I just found out that I don't have any ointment or bandages or anything uh, and you'd think someone like me would be a little more prepared for that type of thing, but uh, nope. I got fucking nothing, I'm bleeding on the floor. <clears throat> so just, uh, I'm just about to start editing the video that you just watched, which is weird because I haven't even started editing it yet. So I filmed it Friday, I think. No, I filmed it Thursday. Thursday I filmed, it is now Sunday night, so that's a couple days. A long weekend, a baker, a quarter of a baker's dozen minus or plus some days ago. And uh, here's, here's the fucking thing. That is what it looks like all the time now. It's dry. It, I mean, it's sticky for some reason, which is fucking disgusting. Uh, but that's not blood. That's, I mean, that's, that's just what it looks like. It's, I just took layers and layers of skin off. And um, I feel pretty good about it. Is there enough jokes in there? Yeah, there's enough jokes in there.